Breaking news we got in just moments ago. The powerful House Oversight Committee will subpoena President Biden's son, Hunter, his brother, James, and another family associate to appear for an interview. NBC's Julie Serkin is reporting from Capitol Hill. Congressman James Comer also made it clear he wants to interview other members of the Biden family as well. Get us up to speed on this breaking news. And this might not be the only round of subpoenas that we'll see this week. The House Oversight Chairman James Comer saying that he's prepared to send additional subpoenas and additional requests for transcribed interviews. But Chris, this certainly marks a dramatic escalation of House Republicans' impeachment inquiry into President Biden in their multi-month-long investigation. Now we have seen them float this step, potentially foreshadow to taking it. But now, within the last couple of minutes, we know they are taking it. They are subpoenaing the president's son, Hunter Biden. They are subpoenaing. In addition to him, the president's uh, brother and Robert Walker, who is a family business associate, the three subpoenas issued today, a handful of others for transcribed interviews, including to other members of Biden's family. This all comes after the committee obtained bank records that James Comer, the chair of the panel, says shows a link that President Biden had benefited financially uh, via his family members, via this business partner. Again, though, the committee has been investigating this for months now, not only this panel, Panel, but two others solely focused on this impeachment inquiry, investigating the business dealings that Comer had called, quote, shady. Now they are saying that there is a link uh, that members of the Biden family sh uh, set up 20 shell companies, they're saying, which were created during uh, Joe Biden's tenure as vice president. I should note, though, the committee has held multiple hearings. They held their first hearing at the end of September into the actual impeachment inquiry itself. That has not produced actual evidence with these ties. The Committee, though, Speaker Mike Johnson as well, floating that perhaps these subpoenas were long overdue. Now they're saying that they're perhaps going to get answers from them. Uh, one thing to point out, though, Chris, we do not have the actual files, the subpoenas themselves, which would indicate a date for which these three individuals need to appear for those transcribed interviews. We're still waiting to see that.